In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, web app architectures, a resource for textures for your models. My name is Katarina, I'm a graphic designer, and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, we're going to talk about the web app architectures.org. It's a resource for textures for your projects, like in programs like Twinmotion or Lumion, or even just SketchUp um, or Revit, whatever program you're using. So they have a f uh, quite a few um, already done uh, textures, as you can see here in the web page, um, in the home page. If you go down, you have popular textures, and you can, you know, find here brick materials. Um, I love it. They have uh, lovely textures. Let's check it out. This finished gray brick. So it opens a new window if you if you select the texture, and as you can see, you have quite a, a detailed description of the texture in place here. Um, if you want to have access to the bump uh, or hatch um, uh, files of this texture, you need to have a pro account and that's $5.45 a month. But for free, you can download without even having to register in the website, you can download the image if you want. And you can do something even more interesting in this uh, web app. If you go to edit in any texture, you're going to open what they call a uh, texture generator. And you have here this, this, um, this dot line. It, it just marks the boundaries of the texture image that you're seeing. And you have all these uh, amazing settings that you can play around with to customize your texture. Okay. In the three dots here on top, you can change from uh, in metric to imperial. Um, if you want, and as you can see here for bump or edge, you need a pro account. Okay. Uh, in here in pattern, you can select another part that you want to play with or none at all. You can uh, select the number of rows or columns you, you, you want to customize your material. The finish, uh, the material, uh, finish gray, uh, concrete is what we're seeing here. Is it concrete? I believe so. Uh, finish gray brick. Sorry. But let's let's go and check it out. Um, a more rustic red brick, for example. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. Uh, and you can change here the size of the brick. You have some adjustments in terms of brightness if you want to play around with. Uh, and while, while you're sliding, you're not going to see the difference. But if you let it go, then you see the difference. Okay. Um, the same with the contrast or the use. Uh, or if you just want to reset, um, you can do it like this. The saturation is the same. Okay. And just close it. The, the tint, if you want to give it a, uh, um, a specific tint, you press OK. And just go back and put it white. The edges you can have fine. You're seeing the difference already. Handmade, rough, or uneven. Okay, let's go into handmade. Of course, you can change the edges scale, uh, the tone variation as well. So it's amazing the amount of settings you've got in this web. Um, and you have the joints. So this is so cool. This is one of my favorite. You can even uh, do a solid fill of one color, but you can have like grass joints, for example. Um, you want imagine that you want to use for some kind of pavement of your garden. Uh, you can have gravel, for example, if you want. So this is pretty, pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let me go to with the grass bit. Uh, um, I'm kind of a fan of it. And you can change for recessed uh, joints or not. So you can download this image right now. Of course, if you're playing around with Twin Motion or uh, Lumion, you would want to bump map. But let's talk about another um, web app that we can use for that. Uh, so I'm going to download the file. As you can see here, I have uh, my settings for, uh, for, for free, okay, for the free. And after they show you the option for pro 
for that 545 a month and i think if you using this um quite systematic if you if you if you're using this quite a lot i think it might be worth it really to do the pro account uh, so a pro account you have a much higher resolution image in here i just have 1000 by 1000 and it's fine for what i use um you have the texture map only uh, you in a pro you could have the the bump or the cad and revit edge as well uh, and for personal and educational use and for the pro account i can use it commercially wise okay so i'm just going to download it so if you really want to create a bump map from that texture we've downloaded you can use something like this web app normal map online and again it's a free uh, a free web app and you can just go drag and drop your texture into place let's let's go and do that I just go drag and drop uh, my texture in here. Uh, I'm just going to go to levels higher. Okay, I'm just going to go. You have some strength settings in here as well. Level, uh, blur or sharp. You know, I want a bit more sharp, but not so much. And you have the filter as well. So I'm going to shovel. Um, and height, you can play around with this. You have here a little bit of... Um, of uh, what you're gonna see um, of a preview and I'm gonna download and I'm gonna check it out how it looks inside Lumion of course I can have the displacement as well and because I'm using Lumion I'm gonna download that one as well maybe a little bit more contrast in the displacement okay so I'm in Lumion now and I have here where I want to apply that of course this is in this pro specific project is actually a wooden deck but you know I just wanted to show you how you can apply that so if I go to standard I'm just gonna upload my files in here so I have my texture or my albedo whatever you want to call it I have my normal map and I have my uh, displacement the second one that's a bit more sharp so let's play around a little bit, not only with the displacement, but with the scale. Okay, so it looks something a little bit better, slightly smaller. You can, of course, you need to, to you know, make sure you had it. Don't forget, Lumion is very quick, so, you know, press shift to go more slow, rotating your, your, your texture. But it looks pretty cool. It's a bit, of course, uh, by default, Lumion gives it too much glossiness and reflectivity. So, but it looks, it, it looks really nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, just the relief and the displacement, you need to be careful. So, is, you know, the relief is not a bit too much. It doesn't look weird. But, you know, for paving material, of course, you know, you would love to have the grass in 3D. But it looks really, really nice. I'm really happy with it. I'm really quite happy with it. So let's try another one. So let's go back. Let's go again to our create textures. Actually, let's go here if they have something uh, like a wooden deck or something like this or cladding or something like this. So let's check it out what they have in terms of, um, of wood textures. Um, mm -mm. Something like this. Okay. So again, you can download just like this and use it, or you can go to edit and uh, maybe add a different kind of wood if you want. So you have wood here, a uh, Western red cedar. Let's see how it looks, it looks good. Um, and you can have it here staggered or, or stack if you want. Uh, I'm gonna go for stack. And I will, I'll just, in this case, I'll just leave everything else. I'm just going to download it. So again, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go to the normal uh, map online for my bump and uh, displacement. So my normal, again, just leave it like it is. Download, displacement, a bit more sharp, just a little bit. And download. Again, I'm going to Lumion. 
and let's check it out how it looks in here so this is a um, um, a brick from uh, a brick texture inside Lumion from Polygon and it looks amazing it's almost like it, there is real relief in the texture let's go here and let's go into the standard and I'm gonna go and pick up my textures normal don't worry is the scale that's messed up again put the glossy dots down repetitivity and let's play around with uh, so again the relief needs to go down because it gives too much noise to the texture as you can see here it just gives you that weird texture but it looks good okay not perfect of course if you had a pro account in the architectures.org you will have access to a higher quality high resolution image and that you'll definitely see the difference in that uh, because as you can see here if i start getting the scale too big it looks really weird but that's okay it's pretty cool as you can see you have you start getting you have access to amazing and customizable all the textures you see they're really customized with, with a lot of different settings so this is what i really wanted to show you okay use the the normal map online to create the bump uh, again uh, it will be better and if you use this uh, I, will, I, I think i'll suggest you to go for the pro account because it's worth it that you have it all here and in a much higher quality uh, but i love it and i think it's really worth to explore even if you're just using the free uh the free version um let's see this one as well let's check it out this one whoa okay let's go let's do this quick okay it's done displacement download normal map download okay let's go in here let's change now for this one let's see the difference normal and displacement again the scale it's off don't forget to press shift in the in Lumion because this goes to if it goes too quick for you. It looks good. I like it. I like it. I, I think you know, especially if you don't if you I would say that if you go to scale just 0 0.5 or something like this, um, it's OK. Much more than that. And you're definitely losing quality, as you can see. Uh, so you need to be it depends really on the texture you're using um, but you know uh, big, if you're using the free account of course uh, but I'm really really happy with the results I think you know and it's amazing the, the amount of textures you have in this in this um, in this app so I hope you enjoy it I hope you make use of it uh, I'll add uh, the, the link in the description below I actually gonna do a couple of renderings from that Lumion just for you to check it out how it looks in the renderings because sometimes you know um, on the screen is something when I'm you know uh, screencasting this but in the rendering is gonna be something else so I'm just gonna do a couple of renderings for you to check it out okay see you guys in the next video